Hello everyone and welcome to my After Effects tutorial. In this episode, I'm gonna show you how did I create some very nice simple sweet motion graphic elements inside of After Effects using only shape layers. So what you see right now on the screen is what you're gonna be learning today and I have kept this tutorial very simple so everyone can understand and the main reason why I am recording this tutorial is to prove a point that After Effects is a very powerful motion graphics program and you can create some very nice intros and outros using just a program. You don't need to buy third party plugins if you don't have the money. You can still do some amazing work and you know make a career in motion graphics. So uh, you know I just want to give you guys a quick warning that when you're gonna like if you guys are on an intermediate to actually a beginner to an intermediate level. Uh, I have made this one tutorial, maybe you would like to watch that, it's called 3D Expressions Using After Effects, or, or sorry, 3D Text Using Expressions. So basically what I've done is I've covered a few different expression terms in this tutorial and if you were to watch this and combine those expression terms with this tutorial, you're gonna get the same effect and you're gonna get it much faster and basically you're gonna have a much better understanding on how to use some index expressions. So, uh, you know, for the purpose of this tutorial, I've kept it pretty simple and I've used only, uh, you know, keyframes for doing this. But you can, of course, combine it with expressions and get your work done a lot easier and a lot quicker. Alright, so with that being said, let's get started. I've wasted quite a lot of time. Alright, so main YouTube is a pre-composition that I've created. Uh, I'm gonna create a new solid. I'm gonna go for a very nice dark gray kind of color. I'm gonna call this BG. Lock this layer. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new shape layer. So I'm going to draw my ellipse like this. And this is a problem. Now, in my opinion, this is not the best way of creating an ellipse. You can delete this. Uh, a better way would be to create a new shape layer right there. Tool this down, add an ellipse. And what it's going to do is, is, is it's going to give you a proper ellipse. And it's going to be in the dead center. So superb to that. I'm going to go to add now. And first, actually, I'm going to go to ellipse path. And I'm going to increase its size from 100 to say 250. Now keep in mind also awesome people, this is not the scale value. Scale is still at 100%. I'm talking about these properties right here. Contents, ellipse path and size. I'm going to go to add. I'm going to take stroke to give it like a nice stroke effect. Uh, and I'm going to increase, I'm going to tool this down. Increase the stroke width from 2 to say 5. So you have a nice, uh, you know, a noticeable kind of stroke. And I'm gonna change its color to say a nice orangish like that. Super. I like that awesome people. Next, what we're gonna do is we are gonna add one more effect called trim parts like that. And the way this effect works, awesome people, is very, very simple and very, very superb. Is it's basically gonna animate as per the stroke of your layer. So if I was to say create, say, a stroke with my pen tool like that. And you know this thing is automatically going to have the stroke effect. So if I open the content, you're going to see I have a shape, and it has a path, a stroke, fill, transform, everything. So all I need to do is I need to add, say, trim parts to this. Open this, and if I was to animate the values, you can see that I'm creating a very nice motion graphic. So this is again, it opens a lot of possibilities for you if you didn't know that. So again, I'm going to go to shape layer, trim parts, and I'm going to start to animate this now. In order to make this thing very simple, and if you're using expressions, you definitely need to do this, uh, is you need to name everything properly. I'm gonna close this now. Is you need to name everything properly. So, uh, basically what I'm talking about is, you know, if you open trim parts, you're gonna see two values, start and end. And you, you're gonna have to animate both these a little bit differently. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start the start value first. I'm gonna take this all the way up to 100. I'm gonna move ahead in time to say one second. I'm going to change this down to zero. I'm going to go to 10 frames now. I'm going to start the end value, move to one second and change this to zero. So what's going to happen is, is it's going to start its animation and right after 10 seconds, it's going to start its animation. It's going to complete the circle or basically cut off the tail and it's going to start to collapse on itself and at one second, it's going to go away. Boom. Super. Now we just need to add a little bit of ease to the keyframe that we have made. So, sorry, uh, you know, can't do that. Forgot. Sorry. Um, do a right click, or you can click over here. I'm gonna take this point and bring it right there. So you basically are gonna create a nice ease right there. Same with the start. 
select both then don't hit F9 because I am recording you guys can hit F9 though click that at ease superb now if I was to play this you can see we have a very nice sweet motion graphic happening superb awesome people that is good now awesome people you need to name this thing properly so I'm gonna name it circle start underscore zero one so basically it means that for this layer the start value is gonna start first and it's gonna be zero one in this category I'm gonna duplicate this now and yeah, of course, I'm going to change the color of the circle start to make my life a little easier. I'm going to change it to yellow. And for start, I'm going to give it a nice, say, red. And for BG, I'm going to change it to, say, none. All right, that I think is superb. So we have a nice color pattern happening. Next, awesome people, I'm going to twirl the circle 02 down because we don't need circles now, right? We don't need the same sort of animation. We need an opposing side animation. So I'm going to delete the first two keyframes for this. I'm gonna solo this layer. I'm gonna move ahead in time. I'm gonna change this all the way up to 100. I'm gonna go to 10 frames, and basically, I'm gonna bring the start value this time to 10 frames. So, on the first time, what was happening was we were basically animating the start value first. Now, we're gonna animate the end value first. And of course, also, people, sorry, we don't have to keep this to 100. You're gonna change this to zeros there you go so if you are goofing up if you, this is getting a little confusing just remember that for start values you need to have 100 100 on the first frame and for end you need to have zero zeros and right at the end for start it's going to be zero zero and for end it's going to be 100 and 100 so it's basically going to be an opposing on both the you know platforms super now i've always just filled this and play it you can see that it, the exact same thing happens but in the opposite direction now all I need to do is since I have animated I've completed the difficult part I'm gonna hit the enter key and I'm gonna change its animation I'm, I'm sorry I mean I'm, I'm gonna change the name from circle end and of course add a zero one so this is circle start zero one this is circle end zero one and lastly I'm gonna change the show color to say white and of course, yes, one more thing, contents, and lip spot, I'm going to decrease the size just by a little bit. So 250, I'm going to make this 2 to 5. There you go. So we're going to basically create, a, I mean, we are basically going to keep a 25 pixels gap between each of the circles that you're going to create now. So if I was to animate this, you can be getting this effect. Super. This looks good to me. If you think that the animation is a little too fast, you can always go here and extend these two keyframes to say 40 frames and it's gonna happen something like that i'm gonna keep it at one frame uh, one whole second though and i'm gonna trim these two layers now so there you go and next awesome people what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna basically give it a five frames offset so i'm gonna take the first start make sure that that is starting at zero frames and go to five frames take the end and offset it just a bit there you go. So we have like a nice, you know, um, first start, second, end sort of thing happening. Nice. I'm going to go to 10 frames now. Duplicate start. Put this up. Move it there. And all I have to do now is I just have to change the size of the ellipse. So I'm going to bring this down from 250 to 200 because the other one, the one that I have over here, is at 225. So now the third one is going to be at 200. Now if I also play this, there you go. Now you just have to, you know, animate this. I, I mean, duplicate this again and again. Now I'm going to duplicate the end. Move this to 20 frames. Change the value from 200 to 175. And now I'm not even going to preview this anymore because I'm so sure that it's going to happen exactly the way I want. I'm going to duplicate start. Put this up. Put it over here. This was 175, if you guys remember. So this is going to be 150. See, we are creating a nice animation like that. Now, since all of this has a nice color pattern, you can, of course, you know, distinguish which is what. You don't even need to look at the names. And if you look at my piece properly, you're going to see that in this, I have this three circuits moving at the same time sort of animation. And what I've done over here is I've basically kept three start layers. I have... Uh, for example, see, I'm, I'm, see, I'm gonna do it with this. 
place uh, I have reduced the stroke value so I have reduced this to say 2.5 I have to play around a little bit with the size so I'm gonna say I'm gonna if this is 175 I'm gonna give it only a 10 pixel gap so 165 because or actually say 50 160 right B because you know the size of this is very very small I'm gonna duplicate this and I'm gonna make this one uh, 145 right there you go so we have like a two strips happening at the same time you want to do this one more time from 145 I'm gonna take this to one 130 there you go awesome people check it out right and now if, if you want to just keep on duplicating this right till the end you're gonna have a nice motion graphic piece so this was at 130 this one is going to be at 1115 and then we can you know continue with the 25 second gaps 25 uh, pixel gaps sorry my English forgive me people there you go 130 and the last one was what <laughs> 115 so this is going to be 95 right Animate it like that and yes change the pixel change the pixel change the stroke width to 5 once again Check it out now if you were to animate this whole thing right till the end you're gonna end up with something like this and what I've done in the end also awesome people is I have basically What I've done is I've increased the stroke to a very high number so right at the end also awesome people if you were to look we have like a nice full circle sort of thing happening a full circle completion uh, what you it's basically very simple to do that um, you just need to create an end like that and what I've done is I've basically increased the stroke width to a very high number so if I was to solo this and solo the background what's gonna happen here instead of this happening I'm gonna increase it so big so it's gonna look like a complete circle check it out see that nice but you just have to make sure that this is right at the end of your entire piece otherwise it's gonna you know completely cover the entire motion graphic that you're making see that and for completing this whole piece i've added like this circle blouse sort of thing you know a nice circle blouse very simple to make all of this right click uh, a new shape layer now uh, i'm gonna hit the enter key circle blast stuff um again add lips fill this time instead of taking stroke i'm going to take a tick of fill red i'm going to change this to white increase the size to say to 50. now you can of course animate this the way you want it so this goes from 0 to 250 at sorry add some ease at the end I just keep on forgetting I don't have to press F9 or you can of course go to the graph editor add like a very deep ease like that nice and uh, what you can do is you can go to transition CC light wipe It'll reduce the intensity down to zero and you can just animate the completion now so like this over here all the way to 100 actually not not, not 100 because 100 is a very extreme value bring this down to say just just enough that it actually covers your piece so in this case it's only going to be 12 i was uh, nudging the value by using my arrow keys now let's play this now nice. see that so you can of course you know offset this a bit if you want the circle to come first or actually oh uh, yeah this is going to be this value um effects you see like actually just hit the u key and you can you know move this a little bit you know offset that a little bit there you go so very easy to create awesome people and again this whole thing was done using only expressions i mean only the shape layers that ship with after effects so combine this whole thing with some index expressions and you're going to end up with something really really good so that was my tutorial on how to use adobe after effects and some shape layers 
um, for creating some motion graphics. I hope you enjoyed. Please subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.